What up YouTube, it's Misery's Company. In today's video, we're looking at Warcraft Rumble, which is the brand new Blizzard game that just came out very, very recently. We're gonna take a look at it, and I already gave my first impressions on my live stream, so if you haven't seen that already, I will link it at the end of this video. But in this video, I wanna talk about, is it pay to win, and if so, how critical is it to the game itself? Let's go ahead and jump straight to it. Okay, so here we are at the game. I've been playing for a decent bit now, actually, um, and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So I haven't made a second channel or anything like that. I'm gonna be testing the waters uh, as I play the game. And if I fall in love, then we'll evaluate other options. But honestly, this game is really, really sick. So, um, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, is it pay to win? Cause that's gonna be a question that everyone's gonna be asking on day one of this game coming out, which is basically today. So if we go to the shop, uh, the far left is a store. So this is the grid. Now, in order to get upgrades to your uh, different minis, this is the easiest way of doing it or unlocking new minis or leaders as well or leader skills. In order to do this, you need gold. Is gold purchasable? Yes. Okay, so if that's if that's pay to win, then boom, it's pay to win. Now, is this the only way of obtaining minis and only way of obtaining leaders? No. Okay, well, well now we're talking. Is this pay to win or is this pay to rush? Let's continue. One thing that I've already came across is the arc light booster. Apparently this is a permanent boost to what you get. You get a plus 20% increased experience and plus 50% increased gold earned, which is phenomenal. It's 20, um, $20 and then you get 1350 gold already, which will help tremendously in the early game to increase all the different things you need to upgrade. Now, what does this total value relate to in terms of other cost in the game? Well, if we wanted 1350 in terms of regular gold, it'd be somewhere around, uh, what, 15-ish dollars we'll say, because it's about $10 for 12. Um, so if you go up to 15, then, you know, yeah, that's where we're talking a little bit more. So we'll call it, call it $15. So five more dollars, but it's is a permanent boost to your account in terms of 50% increased gold and 20% increased arc light booster, which in my opinion is if you're going to spend anything in the game, if this is in fact permanent, which sounds like it is, um, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, so this is permanent. Uh, so this is by far the best value to get you started as well as a long-term investment in the game. You could think of this as the battle pass if you wanted to, because there is no battle pass as of yet. So really, if you were gonna spend on a battle pass, that would be, you know, that would be it. So you don't have to, it's just gonna increase the speed at which you accrue gold and experience, which will get you ahead of other people because there is PVP in this game. PVP is definitely a thing. So. It's really up to you to determine if it's worth it. To me, I think it is. I'll definitely be picking it up. And outside of that, you really don't need to pick up gold unless you are just super impatient because you do get gold for completing all of your normal like map stuff. This is 40 gold just for beating this one boss and so on and so forth. So I think the game is actually incredibly balanced in terms of the pay to win mechanics. It, if they, it obviously it's a mobile game, guys, it's gonna have pay to win mechanics, but it's not as predatory as uh, I think what a lot of people had thought it would be. Um, it's pay to rush, which I like. It's not pay to win in, in the way that I define it. And that's gonna be the most subjective part of this. I define pay to win as paying to obtain something that you cannot obtain otherwise without playing without paying the game or obtaining the game uh, uh, something you obtain without being able to just get through play time this is pay to rush which is i'm okay with so if you are impatient and you really want to upgrade let's say this guy you could pay and then get the upgrade on him faster or you can get the gold from just playing the game and then save your money and then get upgrade him that way so in that way it's still obtainable if you play the game free to play but you can pay to rush to uh, unlock things even faster. I'm not here to debate if it's morally, ethically, or whatever sound. Obviously, I wish it wasn't. It was. I wish this wasn't an option. But if you were to ask, is this game pay to win? In my opinion, it's pay to rush. It's subjective on you know on who you are and how you define these things. But that's my definition of it. So I, so far though, I have really enjoyed the game. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my live stream where I did give you my first impressions of the game, and I will link that right over over there. I'll link it right over there for you to click on. So click on it right now.